Hi, I'm Katie the nurse. Thanks for coming. This is Razul. Um, he came in a couple of days ago after a fall and he was just waiting for physiotherapy, but I'm a bit worried because he seems a bit more confused this morning. I was wondering if you could assess him. Yeah, sure. Thank you for that information. Um, just to introduce myself, my name's Leah. I'm one of the junior doctors working on the ward at the minute. Hello, um, hello there, sir. My name's Leah. I'm one of the junior doctors. I was just getting a handover from uh, our nurse, Katie. Can I just check your full name and date of birth, please? Sure. It, it, it's Razul Linden, 31st of March, 1947. Okay, thank you very much for that. So it sounds like the nurse was um, saying you're feeling a bit poorly, is that right? I feel really dreadful. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that, sir. Um, it sounds like we need to do a bit of a check over of you. So I'm going to do an assessment, which is a bit of a top to toe, just to check that everything's okay. That'll involve me having a look and a listen to your chest, a look at your tummy and your legs, and I'll be doing some other tests as well, but I'll explain those as I go along. Does that sound okay? Yeah, well, whatever you need to do. Okay, thank you very much. So I'm happy with his airway at the minute because he's talking to me, but if you do get worried about his airway at any point, just let me know. Okay. I'm just going to move on to assess your breathing now, Rasool. Okay, so please can we start by checking his oxygen sats and his respiratory rate? Yeah, absolutely. So Rasool, the next thing we need to do is just examine your chest. Am I okay to remove your t-shirt so we can do that, please? Yeah, no problem. I'm just going to pop this on your finger. Okay, so I'm just going to start by having a little feel of your windpipe. Just let me know if that's uncomfortable. Okay, that's great. And I'm just going to pop my hands around your chest. Just take some deep breaths for me. Okay, and again. That's great, thank you. I'm just going to have a tap on your chest. And just a quick listen as well. The respiratory rate's 29. Okay, so there were some crackles at the right base on examination and I can see that his sats are quite low and he's got a high respiratory rate. So please could you put him on 15 litres of oxygen via a non-rebreathe mask? Yep. I'm just going to pop a bit of oxygen on Rizal. Okay. That's great, thank you. Um, is it also possible to get an arterial blood gas and also request a chest x-ray please? Yep, I'll do that now. Thanks. I've got results, ABG results. Thanks. Okay, so that looks like a type one respiratory failure, so we do need to keep him on the oxygen. Um, and he's also acidotic because his lactate's a bit high. And I've got his chest X-ray as well. Thanks. Okay, so the chest x-ray looks a bit hazy at the right base, um, so it could be a pneumonia, but um, I can't see anything else obvious on the chest x-ray. Based on that, please could I also request a sputum culture? Okay, so it looks like his oxygen's coming up nicely with that mask on, so we'll keep that on, please. Could you just let me know if his oxygen does start to drop again? Of course. Um, I'm going to move on to assess his circulation now. Okay, so Katie, please could you check his blood pressure and heart rate, and could I have a look at his fluid balance chart as well, please? I'm just going to start with feeling his pulse and checking his hands. Okay, I'll go grab the equipment. Thanks. So, Rasul, I'm just going to have a little look at your hands and feel your pulse, okay? Okay, and I'm just going to check your temperature. So I've just done a blood pressure, it's 89 over 63, and the heart rate's 140. Okay, thanks very much. Um, so Rasool, is it okay if you just turn your head over towards Katie? I'm just going to have a little look at your neck. 
Okay, that's great. And you can turn your head back. Okay, and I'm just going to have a quick listen to your heart. Okay, I'm just going to take a quick look at your legs, if that's okay. Sure. Have you got any pain in your legs at all? No. Okay, I'm just going to give them a quick squeeze. Okay, can't see any swelling there. And any pain when I'm pressing on the back of your legs? No, no pain. Okay, that all looks fine. And um, Rizal didn't have a flu balance chart because he was quite well, but I've started one now and we'll keep it up to date. Okay, that's great, thank you. Okay, so his blood pressure is quite low and his heart rate's quite high. So please could we start by putting two large bore cannula in his ACFs and from those we'll need to take some bloods please. So could we take a full blood count, use an ease, CRP, LFTs, blood cultures and a lactate. And once you've finished that, would you also be able to get an ECG please? Results ECG. Thank you. Okay, so that looks like sinus tachycardia. So we've thought about his fluid balance, we've sent off some blood tests, and we've reviewed his ECG. Based on my assessment of circulation, I'm going to prescribe a 500 ml bolus of Hartmann's to run stat. Please could you recheck his blood pressure after that's gone through? Um, I'm going to move on to do a neurological assessment now, so please could you start by checking a capillary blood sugar and I'll just continue my examination. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Rasool, I just need to ask you a few quick questions if that's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, can you tell me what the date is today? Um, oh, oh, 5th of August 19, 1983. And whereabouts are we at the minute? Uh, we're in my sitting room. Okay, and who am I? I think you're the doctor. That's great, well done. Okay, so I'm just going to review his medications. So because of his low blood pressure, I'm going to stop the amlodipine for now. The blood sugar was 7.2. Okay, thank you. So I finished my neurological assessment and um, he's a bit confused at the minute, but I can't find any focal deficits. So I'm going to move on to finish the rest of my assessment. Would it be okay to check the patient's temperature, please? Yeah. Do that now. I'm just going to do your temperature, okay, Rizal? So, Rizal, whilst Katie's doing that, I'm just going to examine the rest of you. So, am I okay to just remove the sheets? Mm hmm. Okay, that's great, thank you. His temperature's 38.4. Okay. I'm just going to start by having a little look to see if I can see any rashes. Okay. Are there any parts of your skin that feel sore at all? No. Okay. And am I okay to have a look at your tummy as well? Sure. Okay. I'm just going to very gently press on your tummy. Just let me know if there's any pain. Okay. And I'll just have a quick listen as well. Okay, that all sounds okay. So on exposure, I wasn't able to find any other signs that I was concerned about, but based on the assessment that I've done today, I am concerned that Russell has sepsis, possibly from a chest source. So I'd like to start the sepsis six protocol. 
So far we have done, um, we've given him oxygen and we've given him fluids and we've also done some blood cultures and a lactate. Um, I'd like to start him on some broad spectrum antibiotics which I'll prescribe now and would it also be possible to catheterise the patient please and send a urine sample off? Yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go and hand over about this patient to my senior, um, but please just let me know if you've got any worries whilst I'm away. Will do. Thanks. Hi there, it's Dr Potter, medical consultant on call. Hi Dr Potter, it's Leah. I'm one of the junior doctors working on Ward 32. Um, I just wondered if I could discuss a patient with you. Yes, of course, go ahead. Great, thank you. Um, so I've got a 76-year-old man called Rasul Linden, who I've been asked to review today. Um, mm -hmm. The reason I'm calling you to discuss him is because I'm quite worried that he's septic. Okay. Um, so he was admitted to the ward three days ago with a fall and he's just been having some ongoing PT since then. Um, I've been asked to review him this afternoon because he became acutely confused. Um, he's got a past medical history of hypertension on amlodipine, um, but otherwise no significant conditions to note. Mm -hmm. um, on assessment this afternoon I've been to see him and I've examined his chest. He's got some crackles at the right base and we've done a chest x-ray which is consistent with pneumonia. There's some patchy consolidation also at the right base. Um, we've done some observations and initially he was quite hypoxic. He had sats of 87% on room air and he was tachypneic. We've put him on 15 litres of oxygen via a non-rebreathe mask and his sats have come up to 94% with that. Okay. Um, we've done an arterial blood gas which shows type 1 respiratory failure with acidosis. Um, then I've moved on to assess his circulation and he's also quite hypotensive. Um, so his blood pressure was 89 over 63. We've given him 500 mils of fluid um, and I've also suspended his amlodipine and we're going to recheck his blood pressure after that fluid's run through. Okay. Um, I've done an ECG which shows ta sinus tachycardia, his heart rate was 142 beats per minute um, and on a neuro exam he is confused but he's otherwise alert. On exposure he was pyrexial at 38.4 and there were no other abnormal findings. Um, so in summary I think after completing that assessment I am particularly worried about sepsis particularly from a chest source. Um, so I've completed the sepsis 6 and okay. um, I think I'm just quite worried about him because I think he's probably quite likely to deteriorate and I think he needs to be seen by a senior clinician. So I was just wondering if it's possible for you to come and review him, please. Sure. Can I just clarify, have you checked the patient's capillary blood glucose? Uh, yeah, we did and that's okay. Okay, great. Um, I can be there in about the next five to ten minutes. Is that okay? Um, yeah, I think that would be okay. Um, is there anything that I can be doing in the meantime? Yeah, so if you can check that blood pressure once the bag of fluid is through, and if the patient's still hypotensive, I would administer another 500 ml stat, and I'll be along as soon as I can. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much for your help. No problem. See you soon. If you enjoyed this video, check out the Geeky Medics collection of over 900 ready-made OSCE stations. You can practice with friends using our advanced group practice mode, or interact with our amazing AI-powered virtual patients.